In case when screen shows message, plugged in, not charging, don't worry. This issue is widely encountered, mostly while replacing batteries. For example, it might be caused by different electronics controller. Try to plug the charger into other socket. If the charger does not indicate charging with LED, or you don't see any response after connecting to laptop, try to plug charger to other socket. It is possible that the reason is a broken AC socket. Reinstall battery and charger drivers. Another way to solve the problem is to reinstall battery drivers. To do it properly, you should turn off and disconnect the laptop. Then take the battery out. Connect the laptop to AC and turn it on. When device is running, go to Computer Properties by right-clicking on My Computer. Open Device Manager. Go to Power Settings and uninstall Microsoft AC and ACPI drivers. After uninstall is complete, turn off the laptop and put the battery back. After reboot, laptop system should download proper drivers automatically. Perform Batteries Driver Reset In some cases, we can clear battery settings by hard reset. In order to do so, disconnect the laptop from power source, take out the battery, and press the power button for 20 seconds. This way, you should be able to erase battery settings. Then insert the battery and plug in the charger. Check if charger cable works. If you are certain that battery is not the problem, you can check the charger. Very often, the damaged power cord is the reason. Find a replacement cable and check if it works. Replace the charger with the new one. If you have charger with signal diode, your task is easy. Chargers get broken quite often due to physical damage or incorrect use. To update BIOS, we should visit the laptop manufacturer's website and follow guidelines that we usually can find in section about drivers. Depending on model and manufacturer, this process may differ from standard procedures. If none of the above works for you, it is possible that battery is broken. In such case, you should replace it with the new one and check if error still occurs.